Both Gizzy and Mark's classic sponge puddings are on to steam. Now they can make a start on their all-important accompaniments. Right, so with my lovely lemon sponge pudding, I'm going to do, um, well, it sounds posh, creme chantilly, but it's not really posh. It's, it's just whipped cream, basically, but flavoured. Right, so um, cream, double cream, always really important to start with cold cream. If it's hot, it splits, OK? So um, put some icing sugar in. And just to make sure we don't over whip it as well, we'll put everything in. So lemon zest. Lots of lovely lemon zest. I love lemons. So all that in there. Mark scrapes out the seeds from a vanilla pod and adds them to the cream, then whisks until it starts to thicken. He finishes folding it with a spatula to prevent over-whisking. He puts his cream in the fridge and it's over to Gizzy to make her custard. So what I've got here is I have got some double cream yep. that I've just had um, cooking down really, really slowly. And in there I've got a real vanilla pod. Um, here I've just got some egg yolks. Yep. And I'm going to whisk them together with some sugar. And actually, I'm going to do the old school proper custard. I'm not going to do a, a really posh creme anglaise. Creme anglaise. No, uh, it doesn't go with a sponge, does no, it? No, really? you want thick custard. So yeah. just a teaspoon of, um, of corn flour. Oh, yeah. So we've got this hot um, cream here. Now, you want it to be hot. Going into this, you don't want it to be too scorching because obviously it can split yes. um, uh, and make the eggs a bit scrambled. So we're going to just gently pour this in. Well, and whisk it corn really flour, quickly. I know you see it thickens it more, but does that kind of stabilise it, you think? So it you definitely can... stabilises it a bit more. But, you know, if it's going to scramble, it's going to scramble. Gizzy puts the custard back on the heat and it needs to be whisked for about five minutes until thick and creamy. Time to reveal their steamed sponge puddings. So this is where I wish I'd done a handle like yours now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Still gonna... Right. <laughs> OK. Ready? Ready. Steady. Go! <gasps> that is sexy. Ay, ay, ay. So I'm going to go in with that little bit more sauce. I'm going to join you, actually, because I'm going to um, pour some of my syrup. Right, there you go, that's and mine. That thick right, so we're going to go around. Right, OK, let's go. <laughs> OK. So there is my perfect classic steamed ginger pudding and proper custard. Yeah, that is perfect as well. And there is my perfect classic steamed lemon sponge pudding with creme chantilly. I think that's looking pretty damn groovy no, to me. That's the winner. It's crunch time as Gizzy and Mark find out which classic sponge pudding is perfect. I can't call it, though, can you? Yeah, I, it's you. Good to say that. Oh, it's actually not as uh, a wipe out as I thought. Ginger sponge pudding with custard, that's you, too, OK? Lemon sponge pudding with chantilly cream, one. So, well done. But I thought it would be a 3-0, so I'm actually quite pleased with my little one. I never want anything. I never want anything. This is very good news for it's me. It's slow. It's, a, it's still two more to go. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to get competitive. The judges loved the presentation of Mark's lemon steamed pudding and thought his chantilly cream made a lovely change. But for them, a classic steamed pudding should be really light and totally drenched in a gooey sweet sauce. So Gizzy's ginger sponge and custard was pudding club heaven.